Hey friends, today we will discuss about a question that is we have relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit and we need to plot it on the graph. So this is our relationship over here and we will plot it on the graph. And also we need to state that at what temperature both the units that means Celsius and Fahrenheit will read the same. So we will start with it and first we will find out the, at what temperature both the units will read same that means Celsius and Fahrenheit. So over here we will plot Celsius on x axis and Fahrenheit on y axis. So we have, therefore x equals to 5 by 9 into y minus 32. Now x equals to y equals to a as we know that we will find the common temperature that is common the point that is common. So we have a equals to 5 by 9 bracket a minus 32. On simplifying this we will get 9a equals to 5a minus 160 that is 4a equals to minus 160 we will get a as minus 40 that is minus 40 celsius and minus 40 fahrenheit would be a common point on the graph so minus 40 and minus 40 We'll note it down. Now we'll find second point. We need three points to plot the line. So for second point, we'll take y equals to 32, so that this cancels out and it becomes zero. So over here we'll take y equals to 32. Now on putting y at the place of Fahrenheit will get Celsius equals to 5 upon 9 into 32 minus 32 that would become Celsius equals to 5 by 9 into 0 we know that anything multiplied by 0 is 0 so our Celsius would be 0 so when Celsius is 0 our Fahrenheit would be 32 we will note it down now we will find the third point as three points are required to plot a line. Now we need y as y minus 32 should be a multiple of 9 so that we can cancel out 9 when we open the brackets. So we can take y equals to 32 plus 18 or y equals to 32 plus 27 over here we will take y equals to 32 plus let's say will take 18 so 32 plus 18 would be our 50 so we'll take y equals to 50 for our third point so over here we have y equals to 50 that will become x will be that means our celsius would be 5 by 9 into 32 minus 50 minus 32 so that would become 5 by 9 into 18 so now we have 5 by 9 into 18 18 will get cancelled out with 9 so it will be 5 into 2 that is 10 so when our y will be that means Fahrenheit will be 50 our x that is Celsius would be 10 so we will note it down when x is then we'll have y equals to 50. So we got all the three points. Now let's plot them on the graph. As you can see, they are of higher digits. Like we need to go to 50 on the graph. So over here, I have taken one unit equals to 10, 10 degrees. Now, first we'll plot our first point. There is minus 40, minus 40. So we would have our minus 40 over here and minus 40 so this would be our first point now a second point is that was when x is 0 y would be 30 that was celsius was 0 and fahrenheit was 32 i'm sorry my mistake it was 32 okay so 
we have celsius would be 0 and pen height would be 32 so this point would lie over here so now we after we have got our second point let's mark our third point the values for our third point are when x is 10 that means celsius is 10 fahrenheit would be 50 so we'll take 10 on celsius and now 50 on fahrenheit that means this point this is our third point now let's join the points so i have written the names for the points so we have our three points over here unfortunately the small scale was not uh, enough to draw the line so i have a bigger scale over here and let's join all the three points three points are required to make draw the line as in two points it may not be accurate so over here we have our line so this line shows the relationship between celsius and fahrenheit on the graph that's it for the video guys i hope you like and enjoy the video Thanks for watching.